G'day everyone, this is about Shopify and its GitHub integrations. Let's get straight into it. So first of all, you are going to need a GitHub account, so I'd advise you to sign up to GitHub, and you will need a Shopify like theme store, something that you actually own. So yes, you do also need to be signed up to Shopify or have some sort of access. So the problem beforehand is that we would have a client going to Shopify, changing things around, but your information is stored and all the development and everything is done and stored on a repo, which is probably on GitHub or Bitbucket or shared somewhere else like that. So what happens here is beforehand they're at the same spot, but as soon as a client comes by and changes something in the settings, this code's here and the code for your repo is here. So now they're not in sync. That's bad because when a developer comes by and wants to make a change, they're gonna do a change on code that is not actually on the live theme. So they're making a change here and that changes here and then pushes on top of the stuff and gets rid of whatever the client has made. That's really bad. And there were like ways to fix this in the past, but now the great thing about Shopify with GitHub is that when the um, client makes a change on here and the repo is here, when they make a change, it gets pushed to the GitHub repo where you keep all your code. The great thing about this, instead of now worrying about two places where stuff can be changed, we just have one, which is awesome because the client changes something, that doesn't matter, the developer changes something, it doesn't matter, see how it just goes along the one path. There's no need to be like, did someone change something here? Do we need to like get this one to this point too? Or did the developer change it here or revert it back to here and the client needs to go back to the live theme, needs to see how now we're already lost. It's so confusing to actually explain that this needs to be in sync with this one, but this can't be here and this can't be ahead and this one can't be back. Now you just go, it doesn't matter. The client can change something, the developer can change something. We still go along the same path. We don't need to sync anything because it automatically syncs up. That's the benefit of using the GitHub integrations. You also don't need to manually go through running some commands to push the changes to Shopify if you're not using GitHub or any sort of repository, uh, any sort of Git for any reason, but you should be using Git. So just to preface that uh, this class is kind of assuming that you have a little bit of knowledge on Git and why it's used and a bit of knowledge on Shopify. So let's get straight into it. I, I've signed into my Shopify and we can come here and we can see, okay, we have the brand new Dawn theme. That's really cool. And we don't have anything else connected. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to go across and we're going to just make a new uh, folder where we're gonna actually hold these themes. So we're just gonna call it Shopify Git, just because I'm showing you guys. Oh well. So we've initialized it with Git and it. What we're gonna do now is pull down the theme that we want to pull down. So in this case, I only have one theme, so that's pretty easy. So I'm just gonna do Shopify theme pull. And it's gonna give me the option since I'm already signed in. It's gonna say, hey, do you wanna pull down the Dawn theme? And I'm gonna say, yes, that's the theme I wanna pull down. So we're just gonna let that happen. We're back. And we downloaded that theme. So what I noticed too, by the way, since this is like the fourth time I'm doing it, just before I tried to download this, absolutely same commands, everything's great. And I got stuck on 99%. Don't be super surprised with this CLI tool if you're getting issues like that. Cancel it, try again. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go across to GitHub. We open up GitHub and we're gonna say, hey, I want a new repository. And we're just gonna call again, Shopify, Fi, Git. Doesn't really matter. And I'm not gonna initialize it with anything else because I like to just keep that all fresh. Um, I know there's commands, but let's just copy them across. So we've already initialized it. We've already added a whole heap of stuff. So we're gonna do git add actually, just to add everything in it and git commit. And we're just gonna say init shul commit. Um, and then we're gonna add in the branch of main. Let's change our master, add in the remote and push to the main branch. So now what we've got is we've got GitHub repository set up and we have a branch called main. What you need is at least one branch set up first. That's why I'm pulling everything down first. It sounds a bit weird to go into Shopify, go to GitHub, then go back to Shopify and do all this, but it's a lot quicker to do this. 
So what we're going to do now, we're going to go back to Shopify, say add theme down here, and we're going to say connect to GitHub. We're going to see here that it's going to allow us to connect to GitHub. We're going to say log into GitHub. I'm going to say yes, this is still the GitHub, uh, the Shopify account I want to use to log into GitHub with. It, has it picked up my GitHub address? No, it hasn't. Authorize Shopify online store. Yes, that's what I want to do. You're being redirected to GitHub. Okay, it has signed into the account that I'm already signed into on this uh, Chrome with. And now I'm going to select the repository repo, the repo. And I'm going to say Shopify dash git. All right, because I had already signed in and connected to, to before, and then I revoked my access. Normally, Shopify will ask you another thing, which is like what repos you want available to Shopify. When I did that, I only selected the one which is relevant to the Shopify that I'm doing, not all of them. So if this happens to you anyway, you want to go to select, and if you can't find your repo that you want, you're going to say review GitHub and permissions. We're going to say, yep, we're going to configure mine. And that's why it's not selected the one I want. So I'm actually going to select Shopify Git. There we go. And click save. Now, let's just refresh this because I'm finding as well, this doesn't exactly get the newest information. So I'm going to do a refresh. We're going to go down to add theme again, connect to GitHub. And we're going to now select, and that might not work. Oh no, there we go. It did work. Now we only have the one branch, so we're just going to say connect with the main branch. And it should connect pretty quickly. And the main branch is loading in. Let's get back to actually having a look a little bit as well. What you're probably going to have on your store isn't just the one live theme. You're probably going to want like a staging theme where you would have changes pushed to it that you show the client what the potential new features will look like, but not the customers. Or it might be somewhere where it's tested. So you'll have development themes, all these other themes. But the idea is that you probably want another branch. The great thing with this is it's really simple to do. Let's say we just want to use the GitHub to do this. So right now I have the one main branch. What about making another branch? Cool, let's make a staging branch. Staging, cool. Uh, we're gonna say create staging branch. And we're done. That's your staging branch. We can come across here, back into here, and go down into GitHub, uh, into Shopify, to add to the GitHub. Let's see how many branches we have. Staging branch is already there. It worked, we didn't need to refresh anything. So right now, I've just clicked to connect, and awesome, this staging branch is synced up to the GitHub staging branch. So it's all in sync, we didn't have to do anything. We just needed to make that new branch. The next thing which is really cool is beforehand you might make a development branch for like a developer to work on or like a branch where there's a feature. You'd normally do it like a feature branch or a theme then that relates to that developer building those features so that they could have a look at it and change those things. You don't need to do that anymore. Now what you can do is you can use Shopify to actually use the Shopify theme serve to serve what is a development kind of, I'll, I'm going to take Chris the Freelancer's one here. It's a, like a phantom theme. I think that's a pretty good uh, explanation for it. So these two themes here, the main and the staging, they're real themes. They exist. You can see them right now um, on the Shopify store. So I'm just going to publish the main one. And I'm going to show you something kind of cool here. I'm not going to go and check out into the staging. I'm just going to do this. So I'm going to say, hey, I want to do some development. So we're going to say code. And this is really important though. This is, this is going to be a little tip and trick coming up. So I've just put the main branch. I've just published it to be our live one. You can probably rename it as well. And I've just got the staging one down here. The cool thing is, as I was saying beforehand, if we go in here and we if we customize anything in here, let's say we customize just very basic, whatever, gibberish. All right, we save and we exit. We come back to here and we're gonna change back to our main branch and we're just gonna refresh. 
and we're just going to refresh. And there we go, it's come in. So it wasn't quite instant. It obviously still needed to push to the repo, but it came through. So we can see here, update from Shopify for theme Shopify Git main. Awesome. So the update has been pushed through. What that means now is that someone developing, what I can do, git pull, and we're gonna be pulling now all the updates, which is really sick. We can also then do all the other Shopify CLI commands, but the main thing is that we're in sync with where it should be and that those changes are pushed straight into GitHub. And also now, if I make any changes through my code editor on this main branch, those changes are gonna automatically be pushed to the Shopify theme. So I don't even need to do anything to push this up. It just straight away goes up if I push anything into this main one. That of course means that you do need to be careful that you're probably not developing on your main theme. Shouldn't really be doing that, but you should always be of course developing on a feature development branch and pushing into staging first and then pushing that through and merging in via PR or something like that into your main branch. But we'll keep that for another lesson and I have an important one coming up about dealing with and developing with the Shopify theme CLI, which is extremely important.